How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add Photoshop effects to videos for an easy way to create animated posters. So I mainly work with static design, but with the recent changes to Instagram and all that stuff, I think prioritizing video and motion as a designer will be really helpful. So to get started on this, basically we're gonna open up Photoshop. I'm just gonna use this 16 by 20 size right now with my container for the video being something like this because I know we're gonna put it into a poster format. So the first thing you're gonna do is, if you're unfamiliar with this, you open up the timeline area, which allows you to use video in Photoshop. This will pop up, you can resize it however you like. Let's just do something like that for now. All you're gonna do is drag in your video and you can use whatever you want. I'm actually gonna use this explosion video and edit this old sticks and stones design that I did. So once you have your video in there, all I did was make it into a clipping mask because we want it in this shape. And we're gonna create the video timeline. So this creates a timeline similar to like how you would have in Premiere, you know, or any other video editing program. So as you can see, your video is basically a smart object similar to a photo would be and you can add whatever effects you want to it since our video is a little bit longer we want to make sure everything else we have is stretched out to the length of the video you can also add music in here but I recommend doing audio stuff in a real video editing program like Premiere so now that we have that kind of set up I want to show you what you can do you can basically do whatever you would want to do to a photo but to video so to get started what I'm gonna do is create a copy of this with command J and then I want to do a halftone effect so let's scroll to somewhere on the video that's a little more exciting something like this and from here I'm gonna go into my filter gallery and as long as this is a smart object you can go to filter gallery and we're gonna create this cool halftone effect so this is a little too much for me right now but I think I want something like this maybe four or five and the contrast, we can have it pretty heavy because we're gonna screen this over, but something like that can be pretty cool. Also, for the sake of this video, you can see you can add any kinds of these effects to your videos that you would add to a photo. I don't use a lot of this stuff besides halftone, but I know a lot of people mess with different things and even adding grain and stuff looks pretty cool. So let's go back to our halftone, there we go. And now what we're gonna do is set this to lighten because I want this kind of cool halftone effect over our image, but I don't really want it to be like completely black and white like that. I still want some color from the original video. So from here, I want to add a curves layer to kind of darken up this video a little bit. So let's do something like that and just increase the contrast a little bit. So what's cool about this is now we can add gradient maps, color overlays, or any other thing you'd want to add to a photo. I'm going to use the gradient map. I have this one I already kind of made. Uh, I got this from the, I started with one from the Exograde black market pack, but there's a ton of cool preset ones in Photoshop and you can make ones yourself. If you want to see what I'm doing here, I'm using hard stops and creating some kind of effect like this. So as you can see, it's already looking pretty cool on our video. It's creating this cool kind of iridescent effect and it looks a lot cooler than just the plain video. As you can see though, it, it still kind of looks like a video and there's not enough like kind of abstractness going on. So what I want to do is turn on my halftone, but since that's just black and white, we're only picking up the gradient map from here. So what I want to do now is set my halftone layer to lighten. As you can see, we're already getting a lot more cool effects on the video. Let's edit our curves layer a little bit. We really want to kind of boost some of this up and create a lot more contrast, something like that. Now, the last thing we want to do to help get some of this kind of color back and make it bleed through a little bit more is change the opacity on our, our layer here. Let's do that around 60%. All right, it's looking pretty cool. Let's. I want to mess with this a little bit more though. Then like that. So now I want to kind of show you how we can integrate this into a proper design. So here's a layout I already had. And basically I want to include my video into something like this. It's an old poster I made um, a few months ago. So what I'm going to do is group all this stuff together, uh, convert it into a smart object so I can drag it over easier and just copy that and bring it into my composition here and put it into my square I have for my rectangle frame. So we can resize this a little bit and get it where we want it, maybe something like that. And we can also add some texture to our video. I actually created this uh, 
motion texture that I want to put in. So as you can see, it's pretty bright right here. So I want to start the video at a later point. So I can just go into my video timeline or grab the smart object and just move it in that way a little bit. So the start of the video, is it the explosion already happening? And then with this texture that I put in the top, basically I'm just gonna duplicate it all up. So it goes across the entire timeline right here until the end of our video, which is right there. Let's drag, this is your thing for the whole canvas. Let's drag one more. That'll work. We can put all these to maybe like 80% or maybe 60% even. And so when you're ready to export your video and you have it to where you want, you basically go up here to export, render video. So these are my settings right here and we're gonna get that rendered and we'll come back. Here's the final design. I like how it turned out with the gradient map, the half tone, and the explosion. I'm excited to see what you guys do with this. I hope you learned a thing or two. Overall, I think there's a lot of potential with what you can do with these types of effects. Thank you so much for watching. If you want the source file from this video, you can check out the Patreon here. And if you want to see me design some more stuff, you can check out either of these videos and I'll see you next time. Peace.